How's it going, YouTube? I'm little dragon horn here once again bringing you more Far Harbor Rares in Fallout 4. And this time I've got another three for it for you. Two weapons, one apparel item. I will start with the apparel item because it's nothing completely special. But the first apparel item is the Captain's Hat. Now this is not a bad item. It's actually a it's actually a pretty neat looking hat. Increases the wearer's movement speed by 10% for its unique effect. Provides two ballistic and energy resistance. And increases your intelligence by two. So, not a bad hat to have if you want to be one of those characters that wears a particular hat. Especially if you want to look like a, like a general. And this goes great with the... It looks like it'll go great with the minute in general attire. I have yet to try it. But it goes great with Maxon's battle for if you want to do that. The problem with this level, unfortunately, is that you cannot give it a ballistic speed upgrade. So it kind of, it's kind of a downside for this, but if you don't care for it, then the only way you can acquire this quest is if you get the quest, whatever it is here. Uh, no, it's here somewhere. Passage. Oh. Yeah, here we are. This is it. Look for this request on the Rite of Passage, which is where you have to first help out some of the people in Far Harbor itself to show that you can be somewhat trusted. And then the doc then the, the doctor, Teddy, will approach you saying, Hey, I understand you've been helping out people. Uh, if you want to earn everyone's trust, there's a way you can do this. You have to perform something called the Captain's Dance. It's very dangerous. There'll be a minor clue at the end, so bring your best weapons for it. But once you've done that, you will be rewarded with the captain's hat. As well as, there's actually one of those things too. A unique aid item that you can get called, there it is, the captain's feast. Which looks like a Marla Queen steak or something like that. Value of a thousand, but if you eat it, you'll get 10% additional experience points for two hours. I'm still debating myself whether or not I want to eat this or I just want to save it. But anyway, that's how you get the the captain's hat and the feast to go with it. I'm going to switch back to my salt marine armor helmet because I my hat doesn't really go great with this armor. The second item is this big old fella right here. A unique harpoon gun called the Admiral's Frank. This, I gotta say, when I heard the name Harpoon Gun, I didn't think I'd be interested in it, but after seeing this weapon, it's just, man, it's really sick. So going to the weapon itself, yeah, so Admiral's Friend, it's base, uh, it's base, uh, not base, but it's the effect is, does double damage if the target is at full health. Now, if you look at one of my previous videos, I did another, a weapon on another weapon, I had the same effect called Old Faithful. It was a laser weapon. The, weapon on, the effect on this weapon is better because since this is a big gun. And you get, if you get the necessary perks for it, this weapon is extremely powerful. You attack your foes with this weapon while you're sneaking, maxed out big gun damage. Not to mention you use a critical hit. Boom! You can deal so much damage to the more powerful enemies. It has a, f a fire rate of two, however. I think it may, it may be different if you don't have the upgrades, but either way, the fire rate for this weapon is very low, so... Do not do not use this weapon unless you are one of those particular people who has patience for reloading a weapon like this. And I'm gonna go to a... a workbench real quick. There are, two, there are two categories of upgrades you can get for this weapon. First is the ammo itself to change the harpoon. You have your regular harpoon. Oh yeah, the range changes with these two. You have regular harpoon, 43, 143 range, and these resources. Don't let the island catch you off guard. The flechette, which changes the ammo type huh? to a Shock shotgun blast. Requires a rank, rank one in gun nets. 
and the range goes down to 95. And then there's the bar harpoon, which is the range of 119. It changes that ammo type of bar harpoons and causes bleeding damage. But it requires like three in gun. All your medical improvements. Guns, guns, and, and for scope, you have the standard sights. No requirements. A regular sight, which looks like similar to that to a gunner sight on the on the minigun, I'm not mistaken. And then you've got the short scope, which I think is the best Shots modification of this weapon. In terms of sight sights. But it requires about two in gunmen. Now if you want to use the shotgun type class, the sight and the bar the harpoon flechettes. <coughs> excuse me. Are a better combination, but if you want to make this harpoon look more of a sniping like that, and make it look as cool as this, Ooh, and you want the barbed harpoon and the short scope, you can make this more like a sniping weapon. And well, harpoon gun sort of the first official big gun where you can snipe with it more. So that takes care of two of them, and there's a third item which I actually think I paid off was a uh, old Longfellow, whoever he is. Hey. Hmm. Here's my kid. Take this off him. And then the last weapon is the fish catcher, which is a unique pole hook. And this weapon has the same effect as the Rockville Slugger baseball bat you buy in Diamond City. 40% less action point cost. Damn. And for this weapon, there's really not much more to say. But I gotta say, it's a pretty, very decent melee weapon. Now, if you want to modify this weapon, do this. There's only one category, and there's only one available mod. You can have no upgrade, which reduces the damage and the weight. But otherwise, you get the puncturing mod. You get armor piercing and superior damage to this weapon. The weight does increase, but it only makes the weapon more or less 10 pounds. And it requires rank 2 in the blacksmith category. Or bla or in the blacksmith part of that. Don't let the island catch you off guard. And one last thing before I forget, oh because I know for a Fresh fact I will forget. In order to acquire these weapons, you have to go to this guy right here. I'm scraping by. Alan Lee. If you don't know who he is, then let me just say right now, you will know him right away when you, right when you first come to the bar because he's, well, he's a jackass to you. Even after you help out, he's still a you jackass. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I'll quickly fire the weapon without any people. That's how you fire the weapon. In certain circumstances, you can take back the ammo, but if you look closely after I fire the weapon, it takes a bit to reload a new harpoon into the weapon itself. So keep that in mind. You can even go down the scope with it too if you wanted to. Big gun sniper weapon right here. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you acquire guns, the captain's guns, hat, guns. the fish catcher, uh, pole hook, Big and the guy. admiral's friend harpoon gun. So, get the light. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Once again, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Lost and my help all. If you like the harpoon gun, please give me a head, give me a shout on it because it's a very cool. Very Great cool big gun. Definitely a worthy replacement for the broadside the hand cannon you get from guns. Captain Ironsides back in the Commonwealth. And yeah, with that said, I'll see you again in the next car of the video. With that said, take care.